Hello, so today we're going to talk about whether or not the Ryzen 7 1800X is still worth its value. Like, you know, still worth it, you know, with the Threadripper, with all these different things out now, you know, is it still worth it for your money? And, you know, look, looking at the medium range of, you know, processors and all that kind of stuff, it for a YouTuber, it seems to still be the best deal for a medium range. Obviously, you know, the Threadripper has double the cores, double the threads, and it's pretty much double the price, which is what you'd expect. And honestly, for a medium range processor, for just the power you get, it just seems kind of obvious that, you know, it's it's a good deal, especially because it still has a lot of cores regardless. So, 8 cores and 16 threads, and it used to be $500 is what I got mine for, but now it's pretty much $400, which almost compares with the 70, or 7,700K. And it pretty much compares almost in price with that. And you get, you know, as I said, the 8 cores and 16 threads, which is a lot. And, you know, comparing the scores and, you know, sign bench and all that stuff, it seems to be pretty much, like, you know, respective of what you pay. And obviously, a thread rubber has doubled out with 16 cores and 32 threads, but still, I feel like, you know, $1,000. It compared to 400, you know, I definitely go for the 400, especially because nobody really needs that much computing power. I mean, I rendered videos in maybe three minutes, two minutes, and I mean, rendering it in a minute is probably not going to make that big of a difference. Um, the other thing about the Ryzen 7 1800X, and actually all Ryzen 7s and basically all Ryzen Ryzen's except Threadripper, is pretty much that there's a whole lot more support for the boards and the coolers and the drivers and don't get me wrong I know there's dr coolers and stuff out there and I know there's drivers don't get me wrong but the thing is the boards uh, there's a lot more boards out there that are a lot cheaper uh, like the lowest Threadripper um, board when I last looked was like 300 bucks and that was like in a couple weeks ago so don't quote me on that one but last time I looked it was a good chunk of money just to get a board and like I got my third uh, Ryzen board for like I don't know, 100 bucks for the my 1800X, which I have my 1800X in, and it works fine. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, and I feel like there's a little bit more support for it. Now, obviously, it's extremely good range for, um, you know, extremely good for medium range YouTubers. I mean, it has, you know, great performance for just YouTubers compared to 70, 700K, but like, it's just, as I said, you know, you gotta, you gotta figure out if you're gonna be doing a lot of gaming, then it might be worth it to get the new, uh, the i7, or, you know, if you're gonna be doing a lot of YouTubing and all that editing and stuff, then you probably wanna get a Ryzen 7 1800X. But it's extremely good for, as I said, YouTubers on a budget and stuff. And, um, the other thing is, as I said, the boards are just completely crazy cheaper than, you know, it's like two hundred dollar difference, as I said. You just it's it's not only does it cost more for like the processor, uh, like because it's double the price. It also costs more to get the boards and stuff they're needed. So I hope this video helps you guys out. If it did, uh, make sure you guys check out my channel for other cool tech related stuff. See you guys next time. Bye.